On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at a 2021 Trek Fuel EX5. The Trek Fuel EX is their all around do it all trail bike. This has 140 millimeters of suspension travel up front, 130 millimeters of suspension out back, and a geometry that can pretty much tackle just about any trail. So we're gonna go into some of features and designs of this Fuel EX5, as well as find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, be sure to hit that subscribe button, as well as if you wanna learn more, I'll have a link to this bike down in the description below. So when we start to take a look at this bike, we should start talking about the frame. So this is the Trek Fuel EX5. So the fuel comes in two different frames. It comes in this alpha platinum aluminum frame, which has nice welds. It's got internal cable routing. Overall, a very nice looking bike, but it also comes in an OCLV carbon mountain frame as well. The carbon versions will have a nomenclature where it's fuel EX nine point a number. And that number that's in here, that's indicating the parts quality. So in the aluminum format like this, they've got a Fuel EX5, the base level version, which we're looking at here, the EX7, as well as the EX8. And those three bikes are all running the same frame. Now the Fuel EX5 is a more value oriented bike. So you get an awesome frame that's easy to upgrade. You get all the parts that you pretty much need to be able to get out on the trail, but it gives you a good platform to grow on. So as we get more into the frame, we should talk a bit about the geometry. And to do that, we should talk about something called a minnow link. So you'll see right there, it's got an ovalized link that you can adjust from a high or a low position. And what that allows for is with a small five millimeter Allen, you can adjust the geometry of the bike out on the trail, at the house, you know, even on the trailhead, pretty easy. And with the high and the low position, that's what's gonna help adapt this to different scenarios. So in the high position, this bike is gonna be set up with a head tube angle of 66 and a half degrees. In low, it's 66 degrees. Your seat tube is gonna be 75.5 high and 75 degrees low. Your bottom bracket height's gonna be 346 millimeters in high, or it drops all the way down to 339 millimeters in low. And then the chain stay length is gonna be 435 millimeters. So the summation of what those numbers really mean, is this is pretty well do it all. So with a 66 and a half or 66 degree head tube angle, depending on that minnow link, it's gonna have plenty of slackness in the front end to be able to descend, but not so slack that it can't turn. And that's kind of the magic of this whole geometry of the bike is Trek has really set up something that does a really good job of doing it all. Now in the back end, we can talk about their suspension design as well. So this uses what Trek calls ABP. So ABP has a pivot just above the crank set, giving some nice anti-squat. And then it's got this concentric setup in the rear end where the seat stay and the chain stay both connect to one bearing that is also on the axle. And the beauty there is that pretty much eliminates braking forces. And ABP does a good job of having great pedaling performance, almost no brake jack at all. And then going through the suspension through that rocker link to the direct mount down low, it also has nice bottom out feel. So pretty good suspension all around. Operating that suspension, we've got an X-Fusion rear shock. So this X-Fusion Pro 2 is air adjustable. You get rebound as well as compression damping, which is nice to see on the bike. And then in the front end, you're gonna have this 140 millimeter suspension travel, RockShock Recon Silver. So this is a solo air spring. So it's air adjustable through this Debon Air air canister. And then you're gonna have an adjustable compression all the way to lockout. And then you can open it all the way up or anywhere in between based on the conditions. And down low on that side of the fork, you're also gonna be adjustable for rebound. So you can set up how fast or slow it springs back into place. Now up front, this is boost 15 by 110 millimeter up front. You've got boost through axle in the back, 
with 12 by 148 millimeter. So you've got all the new standards and it comes with 29 inch wheels. And actually I should mention that. So on sizes extra small and small, this bike is gonna be set up with 27 and a half inch wheels and size medium and larger, it's gonna be set up with 29ers. And another neat thing about this bike is it's also gonna come in a medium large size, just like this bike. So what the medium large is, is it bridges the gap between those two sizes and kind of creates a sweet spot for some of those riders that are riding that 5'8 to 5'10 range where you could either go to medium and be a little bit small or large and be a bit too big. This medium large really helps out. Now the last thing to talk about on this frame before we move on is going to be knock block. So what knock block is, it's a steering limiter that lets them do what they call a straight shot down tube. So you can see the down tube comes straight out of the head tube. That's supposed to add additional stiffness to the bike. And with knock block, it's gonna limit how far the handlebar can turn. So that's gonna feel a little weird when you're first checking out the bike, but out on the trail, you'll never notice it. And what it's doing is it's eliminating the crown of the fork from coming in contact with the frame. So if you were to crash, go down at high speed, you don't have to worry about the fork coming in contact with the frame and creating damage. For a drivetrain on this bike, this is a place where we got a pretty cool upgrade for 2020. So this is running the new Shimano Deor M6100 drivetrain. This drivetrain is a 12-speed drivetrain running their micro spline free hub body for this wide range 10 to 51 tooth rear cassette. So this setup has a clutch that you can turn on and off and that's going to help keep tension so that you don't have to run a chain guide on the Shimano M511 crank set with a 30 tooth narrow wide chain ring. And with that 10 to 51 with a 30 tooth up front, that one by 12 speed setup is going to give you a huge range. For wheels, this has the Alex MD 35 wheels. These are 35 millimeter width rims, 32 spoke, they're tubeless ready, and a pretty nice setup laced up to some Bontrager alloy hubs. But unfortunately, for 2021, it's coming with the Bontrager XR4 comp tires in a 29 by 2.6. So I personally like the XR4 tires, but this is the comp version. And what that means is the tires themselves are not tubeless ready. So this is a place that you could upgrade right out of the box or when your tires wear out. But to set the bike up totally tubeless, we would need a new set of tires. For a cockpit, we've got Bontrager's 31.8 handlebar setup. It's got 15 millimeters of rise and it's attached to a Bontrager rhythm stem, of course, running that knock block setup. And then you'll have that Shimano M6100 shifter. And then to slow the bike down, you'll have these Shimano MT200 levers operating an MT201 caliper. These are mineral oil hydraulic calipers with twin pistons in both the front and the rear. Finally, we should talk about the saddle setup. So this has Bontrager's Arvada saddle. The saddle is then mounted on a Transex JD YSP 18 dropper. We've seen this dropper post on a lot of Bontragers, a whole bunch of different models, plenty of performance, and it's gonna have a one by under bar lever so that you get a nice cockpit look to this bike. So now that we've taken a look at some of the features and designs of this bike, let's go ahead and we'll find out what it weighs. The actual weight of the Trek Fuel EX5 in a size medium large comes in at 33.55 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the Trek Fuel EX5. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and definitely don't forget to subscribe. That way you can see more videos like this in the future.